a good time. Be ready. Super Soul is the place where kids and parents come together to learn.
choice. Uh, what was your first choice, Mrs. F? Oh, don't get her started on that. She wanted us to go to that silly spring flower show down at the fairgrounds. What? Oh, we we mean. Woo! Yeah, come on, guys. It wouldn't have been that bad. Listen, let's just say we're so excited you decided to come with us instead to Whimsy World. Oh, Whimsy World. I can't wait to go on your ultimate ride. There isn't a roller coaster I can't handle. I know, me too. It's going to be so awesome. Uh, Grandpa Henry, listen, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Are you sure you're not too old to go on all those big roller coasters? Too old? Now you listen. Don't, yeah, don't listen. worry, Cammy. I'll be by Grandpa Henry on his, by his side on every single one of those rides. He'll do just fine. Marshall, I got to be honest. Sounds kind of comforting. No, that's not the word I was looking for. Listen, you guys, I think we need to stop standing around here talking. We gotta go. I want to be the very first person in line when they open the doors. It's gonna be so awesome. Well, now we can't forget Sam, Vinny, Tyler. They're gonna meet us at that tilt up pearl ride. We're gonna be, we're gonna be doing that. Uh, Three cheese before you know it. That reminds me, I, I need to get my drink with me. I'll be right back. Let's, let's go. You think I can handle that? Come on, we gotta go. Get it. Three oh, cheese. Really, Gordon? Two roll. I'll show you two roll. Two roll. Ah! Okay, guys, I got my drink with me. Um, guys? Where'd they go? Guys, did you hear me? I'm ready. Oh, they must be out here. Mrs. F's car is gone. They went to Whimsy World without me. I'm stuck here all by myself. Oh. Okay, they get it. They get it all by myself. I cannot believe it. It was my idea to go to Windsor World well in the first place. Take a day off, let's go have some fun. My idea. And then just went it and left me here. I'm so lonesome. Think of something to do all day. I mean, it's not like this is the first time I've been forgotten and left behind. I should be used to it by now, but I tell you, it still hurts. It still cuts. It, it, it cuts kind of deep, and, and 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 I just feel so lonely.
bicycle, right? That's how she, that's how come Debbie gets so excited. Boys and girls, you know that all this month we've been talking about what character trait? Hope, right? And hope means believing that something good can come out of something bad. Sometimes when bad things happen to us, we just feel sad. But we know something good can come out of it. So, parents or the teachers and staff have been putting your names in the name drop box if you have shown hope this month. And we are going to draw out the name of one lucky student who is going to win a bicycle for showing hope. Okay, are you guys ready? All right. Debbie, it's a girl. She's a kindergartner. Listen carefully. This student, she showed hope because she stayed hopeful when she was trying a new math skill and finally succeeded because she never gave up. It is Miss Elena Garrett in Miss Van Heidegen's class. Come on up, Elena. You did it, girl of grade. What do you think? Can you hop up? Do you want me to help you? All right. showing hope. You were like maybe one of the sweetest kindergartners we have. You know that? And you showed hope and you never gave up. Is that right? Is math kind of hard or is it kind of easy? Kind of. Kind of hard sometimes. Math's hard for me sometimes too, but if we never give up, we'll get it, won't we? Well, I'm very proud of you and you have a brand new bike that mommy can take home, okay? All right. Oh, mommy and daddy will take it home. Okay, awesome. Sounds good. All right, let's give our hand. Good to me. Let's go. 
Hey, Gordo, Gordo, you coming for beef stroganoff? <coughs> I'll take that as a no. For you. So I'm going to give you an example and then I'm going to ask you some questions. One time, a long, 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 long time ago, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, I was in elementary school and I liked to play soccer. I thought soccer was just great. I enjoyed going to soccer practice. I like kicking the ball. I like running. I like being with friends. It was a great day. And I got home. I was all excited to go to soccer practice and mom told me, Coach Hall. Canceled soccer practice today. Bummer. Bad thing. I like soccer practice. This is bad, bad, bad. But then I had to think. How can I take something bad, turn it into something good? Well, mom was there because she was going to take me to soccer practice. And she didn't have anything else to do. And I didn't have anything else to do. So I gave her my biggest, best smile. And I challenged her to a game of battleship. And she accepted, and I will be two out of three games. <laughs> Good day. So I've got one for you. This is the one that you get to answer. Let's say it's time for recess. And you've been looking forward to recess because you like to spend recess swinging on the swings. It's your favorite thing to do. From the moment you get there to the moment you leave, you like swinging on the swings. And you run out there, and when you get there, all the swings are taken. Every single swing has a person on it, and they're not getting off. That's bad. How can you turn something bad into something good? All right, let me slide back here somewhere so I can get lots of good feedback on the thing. Let's see here. Excuse me. There you go. Stand up for me. All right, now what's your name? Gerwin. What would you do if all the swings were taken? How would you turn something bad into something good? Somebody to get off? I'll ask somebody to share. That's a good idea. Who's got another idea for it? Oh, let me get this one here. What would be your idea? To play something else. Play something else? Like what else do you like to play out there? Besides swings, what else is good? I like a spider thing myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one too. All right, let me get one more over here. Excuse me. Here you go. What would you do? How would you turn something bad into something good? Um, I will, um, Tell somebody to um, get off and then I'll give them it back to it. Ah, you can share it with them and switch off with it. Good idea. I got another question for you. Another one for you. Look, just slide this way. Don't step anybody. This one is, you planned with your friends to get together at Manitou Mountain on Saturday at 10 o'clock. And you were gathering there with three other friends and their moms. You were going to play for two hours and then have a picnic lunch. And you woke up Saturday morning, it's raining. It's raining and it's windy and it's no good. Because you can't go to Manitou Mountain in the rain. Hmm. How can you turn something bad into something good? Let's go this side this time. It's raining outside. Yeah, get your raincoat on and your rain boots and go out to me. I'm out and have a fun time anyway. Let me get one right here. What would you do? I would, um, have a good day. You'd forget? Forget about the whole day? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What would you do? You like to play in the rain too. 
I'd probably call my friends over and see if they could come over to my house and play something cool like Battleship. Their challenge today is hope. What does hope mean again? Talk with me. Believing that something good can come out of something bad. Great job today. Hey, Columbia, you know, it's not. But before you stand up and we say goodbye, we have a special recognition to do. So I'm going to hand it over to Mrs. Pike because there's someone in here that deserves a great big round of applause. Thank you, Mrs. Lunsford. I have some exciting news this morning, guys. There is a student at Columbia who never missed a day of kindergarten and was never late in kindergarten. And that same student never was here every day when they were in first grade. And they were never late in first grade either. That same student is now in second grade. And you know what? They have been here every day we've had school and they have never been tardy or late. How cool is that? Everybody give me a thumbs up. Okay. So we have some we have a special award for this student, and I know he's out there with Zach Pickens. Please come up to the stage. Zach. Mrs. Keller, who is Zach's kindergarten teacher, Miss Lensford, his first grade teacher, and Miss Stressler, his second grade teacher. And Zach, we have a couple prizes for you, a little certificate, and um, a candy bouquet, and a trophy. So Zach, let's all give him a hand. So boys and girls, don't forget to be here on time, what? Every day. All right, now it's time to say goodbye. Stand up. Let's see if those clubhouse members are ready to come out and break it down with us. Parents, thanks for joining us. That's it for Zebra Zone this year, but we hope you'll come back and join us next year when we celebrate all of our virtues at Columbia. I'm not hating. I think it's better to tell you about the way I am.